Okay, now we're gonna start shaping our neck. And we've got our neck already with the fretboard on here. And it's just kind of roughed out, attached it to our body. We're ready to go. But before we attach this, we've got to get that neck shaped. And this process is gonna take quite some time and it takes a little bit of practice. We've got a whole bunch of tools we're gonna to use. We've got an example neck, what we're trying to get the shape. So there's kind of three different parts of the neck that we're gonna work on. So we've got the main area here that we've got to kind of round over. Uh, we've got the heel part over here, which is gonna take some time and different shaping. And then we've got up towards the head part up here again. We're gonna focus on all three of those different sections. And to help you out, I've made some little neck shaping blocks that'll help hold the neck. And you can just get your neck right up on top of that. And then if you take some clamps, you can clamp this down to the bench top. So we'll just hold this for you. And one up here as well. And this might make it a little easier so you can kind of just have a seat at a stool and start working on it. I've got a whole bunch of tools to shape it and they're going to be in this little toolbox here. I've already pulled some out. The first one you're going to probably want to use is called a spoke shape. And if this blade needs adjusting, let me know and I can help adjust it for you. But our spoke shave, we're just kind of just grinding it across here. Now you can push or you can turn it and pull and you'll notice a difference it depends on the grain whether you want to push or pull whatever cuts the easiest. And so the spoke shave is a great one to kind of just rough out that shape. You know, you're just kind of rounding it over, getting this first middle part. We're not doing too much up here and we're not doing too much over on the heel yet, but the spoke shave is great for this middle curve part. And if you want to have that example neck nearby, so you can kind of just get an idea of what shape we're looking at. So again, that's our spoke shave. And if it doesn't cut very well one way, you might have to go the opposite way. And you'll just get a feel for what it can do. Uh, other tools we can use. We've got a little rasp. This one's got a really rough side and the opposite side is more fine. And this one you might want to use standing up and we can just really grind away. If you want to use the finer side, you can use the finer side. You could also use this rasp over here on the heel block. Kind of grinding that away. If you need to move your clamps, you can. But we're just looking at shaping this. So spoke shave, wood rasp. I've also got some other rasps that you can use. This one has a flat side and then a curved side. So that curved side might be great for getting into these areas here. We've even got some that are just round. And this one's really coarse and this one's a little more fine. So if you want to remove a lot, use that coarse one and the fine one. Again, we're just getting the shape. One thing you may want to have is some kind of center line drawn. If you have a center line on here, that'll just help us know shaping the left side and right side kind of equal. You can get carried away really easily if you take too much off and it's going to take some time uh, and be patient with this. We also just have some strips of sandpaper you can use and these, once you get the shape really done, it's just back and forth and you can do this more on your final smoothing. So you get the main shape with the spoke shave and then you can kind of just fine sand it with some of this. We can even take a random orbit sander and just sand it as well. But we'll take some time on this. Really just curving that left side, right side. Then we'll work on the heel. We can work on shaping up here as well a little bit.
kind of tearing when I go this way. So I'm flipping it. There we go. If I pull, it's not really tearing that much. I do have a spoke shave that's round. Now once you get it somewhat round, this spoke shave may help a little bit. I found that probably just a straight spoke shave might be a little easier to use though, instead of the rounded one, but you can try it if you like. Now the thickness of this does matter. And it's really more just feel once you kind of hold the neck. Uh, there is some thicknesses that you could try to get to exactly what the specifications of ukulele is. But mostly I, you know, every so often I unclamp this and then I just hold the neck. And just feel, does it feel too thick? Right now it's way too thick. I, I've got to take a lot more off. But uh, you can work on that too, just by feel. Take your time with this. And we can also just even take the whole neck over to one of our sanders, like the spindle sander or the horizontal belt sander or something and we can carefully sand some of this. Uh, you gotta be real careful not to get too much away from what your line shape was though. Again, when you use the sandpaper here, it's almost just like you're shining your shoe. Okay, so we got the middle section pretty good. We might come back and just touch it up. Um, now we're going to start focusing on the end here and also on up in the neck, the top. Okay, we can come over to our belt sander here, this vertical belt sander. And this can help get quite a bit, maybe just up here. We can kind of grind it a little bit carefully. Now this part right here is tricky because the shape of this is probably bigger than that curve. So we'll probably do that more on the spindle sander, but what we can do is get the sides curved up on either side. So we can take it and kind of curve it. And the shape of this is really what you want. Sometimes I find my center, mark it, and then I just kind of draw the shape that I want to come down. And something we can grind it to. And we want to try to make this a mirror image on both sides here. So maybe I want to come up like that and I'm going to mirror image that on this side over here. And go with looks. Obviously, I've got more here and less here, so I've got to try to match both sides. Now, 
also, if you take your neck and attach it to the body, you'll see if any part of it sticks past here, we probably want that to be nice and in line flush with the body. So I'm gonna just draw a little line, making sure I get that part flat and removed. Um, I'm very close to my tenon here, so I could maybe even just go and take a chisel and chisel away some of my tenon, get that out of the way so when I come down to what I want, I'm not right where my tenon's at. to use a spindle sander we can switch out the spindle with one that's more going to fit into that little shape there uh, this will be easier on this part here now again this can also be done with that rasp um, some of those files and some of the sandpaper you can even take your spoke shave with parts of this but we're just kind of making this look nice but don't get carried away and take too much off to get the top part of this spindle stack some boards you can put it on here and that'll be a little bit easier to hold it flat also if you still have any bandsaw marks we got to go until those are gone Mount it back in our little neck block holder. Again, just trying to focus on this part here. You can take that spoke shave and kind of get it a little bit on each side. That works great. You can take our rasps really rough one if you want or even the fine one works really well and even take the sandpaper the other side to match. So we've gotten the main part shaped and we've gotten the heel part of the neck shaped. Now we got to focus on the head. And, you know, if there's bandsaw marks or other things, we can take it over to sander and sand some of this. The thickness of this also matters. And we've got to make sure those tuning pegs will fit through. So we don't want to be too thin, but also we don't want to be too thick. And we'll take this over to some sanders, grind it down, again, then shaping so that it's equal. Left side, right side, everything's symmetrical. You know, this can be done on our horizontal belt sander. You can also do this on that vertical belt sander, but I'm just looking at sanding this area here, kind of just cleaning up all the head, just getting it all smoothed up and clean. And then also we want our thickness to be a half of an inch thick. Now that includes that little head plate. I measured the thickness of my ukulele head right now. It's a, 
about five eighths of an inch, maybe uh, maybe nine sixteenths. So I've got to take off about a sixteenth inch or so. So we want that to be nice and even, half inch thick, dead on. Be careful not to sand into the side of your fretboard, especially don't sand into some of this neck area that you've already shaped. We're just trying to focus on this part up here. Got bandsaw marks. Make sure you get those. If you have to, you might have to come in a little bit, but just match the other side. We just want to make this symmetrical. Careful not to take too much off one side and leave the other side thick. So you got to make sure this is nice and flat when you're standing. Once you've shaped that neck pretty well, again, Curving it over, getting the end here, getting the head here. I'd recommend take a orbit sander and again, just sand the whole thing. Smooth it up. But with the grain, get all the scratches off, work your way all the way up to 220 grit. And just make this thing look real nice. Another thing you can do with the sander here, on these fret wires, if they are pokey or sharp anywhere, you can kind of sand them at an angle or file them at an angle if you want just so if you run your fingers across, it's not gonna scratch you. So as you're sanding, kinda at an angle. That way it's not gonna be sharp on any of those frets. I've already done that other side there. You run your hand across, should be nice. Again, take your time with this whole process of the neck. It's a big part of your ukulele. You want it to look really nice, so don't rush through it. 